Hello friends. Have you ever wondered how many years ago humans came into existence? The universe is 13.7 billion years old. The Earth has not existed since the moment the universe was created and is about 4.5 billion years old and is made out the debris of two previous generation of stars. Life on Earth started shortly after the temperatures cooled down, about 3.7 billion years ago. Up until 600 million years ago, life was predominantly single-celled organisms. From 600 million years until now, the variety of life that we see evolved. Humans started to separate from the rest of the great apes about 7 million years ago and we became modern humans 200,000 years ago. Civilization as we know it is only about 6,000 years old, and industrialization started in the earnest only in the 1800s. While we've accomplished much in that short time, it also shows our responsibility as caretakers for the only planet we live on right now. The effects of humans on Earth cannot be understated. We've been able to survive in environments all over the world, even harsh ones such as Antarctica. Every year, we fell forests and destroy other natural areas, driving species into smaller areas or into endangerment because of our need to build more housing to contain our growing population. With 7 billion people on Earth, pollution from industry and cars is a growing element in climate change, which affects our planet in ways we can't predict. But we're already seeing the effects in melting glaciers and rising global temperatures. The first tangible link to humanity started around 6 million years ago with a primate group called Ardipithecus, according to the Smithsonian Institution. Based in Africa, this group began the path of walking upright. This is traditionally considered important because it allowed for more free use of the hands for tool making, weaponry and other survival needs. The Australopithecus group took hold between about 2 million and 4 million years ago, with the abilities to walk upright and climb trees. Next came Paranthropus, which existed between about 1 million and 3 million years ago. The group is distinguished by its larger teeth, giving a wider diet. The Homo group, including our own species, Homo sapiens, began arising more than 2 million years ago. It's distinguished by bigger brains, more tool-making and the ability to reach far beyond Africa. Our species was distinguished about 200,000 years ago and managed to survive and thrive despite climate change at the time. While we started in temperate climates, about 60,000 to 80,000 years ago the first humans began straying outside of the continent in which our species was born. This great migration brought our species to a position of world dominance that it has never relinquished, reads a 2008 article in Smithsonian Magazine, pointing out that eventually we obviated the competition, most prominently including Neanderthals and Homo erectus. When the migration was complete, the article continues, Homo sapiens was the last, and only, man standing. Using genetic markers and an understanding of ancient geography, scientists have partially reconstructed how humans could have made the journey. It's believed that the first explorers of Eurasia went there using the Bab al-Mandab Strait, that now divides Yemen and Djibouti, according to National Geographic. These people made it to India, then by 50,000 years ago, Southeast Asia and Australia. A little after this time, another group began an inland journey across the Middle East and South Central Asia, positioning them to later go to Europe and Asia, the magazine added. This proved important for North America, as about 20,000 years ago, some of these people crossed over to that continent using a land bridge created by glaciation. From there, Colonies have been found in Asia dating as far back as 14,000 years ago. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, 
subscribe my channel and turn on the notification bell. Give a thumbs up, comment and share.